Hi guys, welcome to another Five Foot Nomad video. I am Basilia, and in our channel, we'll talk about working online, uh, living smarter, living the digital nomad lifestyle, and any other topic as the spirit leads, okay? So guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about malaria, okay? I know this is a weird topic to talk about, but if you're from Nigeria or you're from a third world country, this video is super, super relevant for you. So you want to stick around until the end. I'm going to try my best not to make it too long. OK, if you're not from a third world country and you have nothing to do with malaria, and you're like, well, what's malaria? Then you probably want to watch my other videos and skip this one, I would say. Or you can just watch it if you're interested. Right. So why am I talking about malaria today? What does this have to do with you as a Nigerian or someone living in a third world country? So make sure you watch this video until the end. So let's dive right in. So guys, the reason why I'm making this video is because I've had some personal experiences with malaria, especially being married to a foreigner, Rafi, right? So um, I think two years ago, um, after I got married to Rafi, I was processing my visa so we couldn't travel together. So he had to travel to Ukraine. And when he was there, he felt so sick and we were wondering like, what's going on and all of that. And then based on the symptoms that he had, we realized that he had malaria. So luckily, I always give him a stack of malaria, anti-malaria pills whenever he's traveling. So he just took one of the drugs, took a combination, and he was okay. And so after a few months, you know, he then traveled to Israel, and I got my visa, and I went to Israel as well. So after a few months in Israel, he was sick again, and we're like, what's going on? Like, what is this? And he started shivering and feeling really sick all of a sudden. And based on the symptoms, we realized that he had malaria again, even though he hadn't been in Nigeria for months. So we then used another combination that I had because, like I said, I always give him a stack of anti-malaria drugs. So he took the pill. He felt better. And then in a few months, we moved to Cape Verde. OK, and in Cape Verde, he had malaria again. And, you know, in these countries, you know, in countries like Israel or Cape Verde, they don't have malaria, you know. And then we've already used up all the combinations that we had. So I'm like, what's going on? Why does this malaria keep coming back? So I went around doctors in Cape Verde and then they prescribed one particular drug, which was the only anti-malaria drug they had anyway. So after that, Rafi took the drug. The drug was super strong. It made him even sicker than the malaria itself. But after that, that was it. That was the last time he had malaria. And that was in 2020, okay? Based on that experience, I realized that there's recurring malaria and a lot of nigerians don't know this like there is malaria that you don't even need to get beaten once it's in your blood it's there okay i'm gonna read a little bit of this for you guys to give you guys the idea so if you're in nigeria and you're constantly having malaria left right center like you treat malaria that week you treat malaria next month and in two weeks time you treat it again and it seems like it's not going away I have, I think, three tips for in this video. So you must watch it until the end because this is a matter of your life and your health. I'm not a doctor. Yes, I must give this disclaimer now. I'm not a doctor. I am not giving you medical advice. I'm just giving you suggestions that you can consider. But any drugs you ever want to take, contact your doctor first. I am not your doctor. I am not liable for anyone taking drugs and saying, no, but Celia said, dude, no, yeah. That's insane. But yeah, I'm just giving you suggestions and giving you something to think about, okay? So let me read this for you guys. So basically, recurring malaria is caused by the parasite Plasmodium vivax, okay? Which makes 8.5 million people ill every year. So if you think you're special, you're not special because a lot of people fall sick from this recurring malaria that is caused by Plasmodium vivax or P. vivax, okay? So... Uh, this type of malaria is a particular challenge to get rid of as it can remain dormant in the liver for years before reawakening many times. Insane, right? Dude, this malaria can literally be in your blood and keep in your liver rather and keep coming back whenever it feels like coming out. You know, next thing you fall sick, you treat it, you feel well, you fall sick again, you know. So this recurring malaria, guys, is the most common type of malaria outside sub-Saharan Africa. Children can be particularly at risk getting several bouts of malaria from a single bite, missing lots of school and getting weaker each time they get the disease. You know how kids always have malaria? Well, duh, it's this fucking uh, P. vivax. Infected people can act as unwitting reservoirs of the disease because when the parasite reawakens in their bodies, a mosquito can carry that parasite onto someone else. And this would be hard to eliminate around 
the world guys oh my days this is fucking insane okay like you can not be beaten by a parasite and you will still have this malaria because it's in your liver and it's just there and it comes on whenever it wants you know flexing in your body and you know you just keep falling sick and keep treating and treating and treating you know and so this same article i'm reading is talking about a discovery of a new drug that was found to help curb this sort of recurring malaria okay so it says uh the fda in the united states has given a seal of approval to tefenoquin a drug that can flush the parasite out of its hiding place in the liver and stop people from getting it again. So they also say it can be taken alongside another medicine to treat the immediate infection. There is already a medication that can be used to get rid of malaria hiding in the liver called Primaquine. But unlike a single dose of Tefenoquine needed, Primaquine often needs to be taken for 14 days, okay? So basically this article is saying that there are two types of drugs that can help you get rid of this. And it's either tefenoquine or primaquine or maybe there's a combo but as long as one of these two isn't it it can treat you i am not recommending these drugs to anyone guys i am just providing information i am not telling you to take these drugs i am not your doctor okay so based on this information if you have recurring malaria like you keep having malaria left right center there are also three reasons why. One of the reasons is because you keep treating the malaria with the same combination, you know. If you're taking an uh, anti-malaria drug and the drug combination is probably Arthemeta plus chloroquine or whatever the combinations are, and every time you test for malaria, it's positive, and then you, you go to the doctor, he prescribes the same combination for you, chloroquine, atrometa, whatever the combination is, you take it, you feel good for two days, you fall sick again, you know, he prescribes the same combination for you, you fall sick again, you... Man, it's a, it's a vicious cycle of you pumping your body with drugs and nothing's really changing. You can't... And that's the problem. If you keep taking the same combination every time, your body's so resistant to it, you're not gonna get cured from this, okay? So one way to curb that is for you to always track the drugs that you take when you see that you have malaria, okay? If you take combination A and B the first time you have malaria, and then you test again and you see that you still have malaria, then you take combination C and D. You get what I mean? Because it's pretty ridiculous if you keep taking the same drug expecting different results it's it's what einstein said right that like um, that's the definition of insanity doing the same thing expecting different results right maybe it doesn't apply in this situation but basically what i'm saying is whenever you have malaria and you take drugs for it make sure you write down the drug combination that you took the second point i'll give you is like after treating malaria make sure you test yourself again okay many people just treat themselves with the combination that they gave them they feel okay and then in three weeks four weeks five weeks time they're sick again right but if after treating yourself when you had malaria you then go do another test after your treatment if you see that you have malaria then you clearly know that you need to treat with another combination, right? And after treating it again with the second combination, you go and you do another test again. And only when you do not see malaria in your blood, whether it's plus one, plus two, plus three, whatever it is, only then you can say, okay, I have treated myself of this. But if you just take a combination, you feel better and that's it. You don't test yourself again to see if you still have maybe plus one when previously was plus two or something. Then it's just in your blood. And next thing you know, you have malaria every day, every other week, every other month, every other, you know, it's pretty crazy. I know this is crazy information, but like, dude, this will save you from going to the hospital all the time. Because if you can tackle it from the root you know, like using the right combination. And if you realize that you have recurring malaria and you treat it with the right combination and you always keep track of uh, the malaria that you have and all of these, dude, you would be healthier and you would not have recurring malaria every other day. You know what I mean? I hope that I've explained this properly. I hope that you understand what I'm saying. I am not a doctor. Like I said, I am not recommending any drugs for you. I'm not telling you take this drug and don't take that drug. I am only giving you knowledge based on my experience with Rafi, how we figured out that there's recurring malaria and mosquito doesn't have to bite you all the time for you to have malaria and telling you how to go about it so you're not constantly treating yourself okay i hope you found this video 
insightful for you. You know, think about what I've said. I am not recommending any drugs. Like I said, I'm just telling you my observation, suggesting to you what you could do to make your life better so you can live smarter, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. Anyone you think will find this information relevant for them, share it with your friends. Um, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Tell me if you find this video relatable in the comments. If you've watched it until now, Thank you so much for watching and I still help people work online with Fiverr and you can get my Fiverr guide in the description below. And yeah, until next time guys.